great friends. What is going on? Today is Thursday. It is Kaplan and crew with Grande and the Brown Man. And tonight we are going to kick off the NFL season. And like I said earlier in the week, it is balls to the wall until we get to New Orleans and the Super Bowl in February. And uh, so stoked to have the football season back tonight. But as much as I'm excited, guys, for the football season, I got to say, like we're in the middle of a massive, ridiculous playoff race in baseball. I'm definitely going to talk about Alex Morgan and her retirement a little bit later on in today's show. Craig Dato from Sports Injury Central is going to come by and he's going to give us a bunch of NFL picks and uh, some player prop picks. All that's happening this hour. Um, and before we move on, Grande, can I give mm. a shout out? Let me, let me give a quick shout out to okay. your cousin, Nancy. Shout out to cousin Nancy, who runs the Kaplan and crew dot com website. Mm hmm. The website looks phenomenal. And if you pull it up on the screen for everybody that's watching on YouTube and everybody that's watching on Sports Grid, and for everybody who's listening, dude, just go to our website, kaplanandcrew.com. But if you scroll down just a little bit, okay, we put up some new polls today. And, um, Alex, if you could read us these polls, I, I just want to flip through them real quick because I want everybody who's watching to go to kaplanandcrew.com and vote on these polls. All right, the first <clears> one says, um, How do you – Watch or listen to the show. Yeah, I want to know, by the way, are you guys watching on Sports Grid TV? Are you watching on YouTube? Are you listening on Sports Grid uh, Sirius XM Channel 159? Are you listening on audio podcast? Alex, I'm going to vote. You forgot on... to put all of the above. I did forget to put all of the because above. Because the greatest of great friends do all four, probably. Probably so. Um, right. uh, I'll, okay, there you go. Um, the next poll is going to show up. And now we start getting into what happened last night with the Padres. Go ahead, Alex. Read it to us. Harbaugh oh. spotted the Padres at a Padres game where the Chargers trying to get SD fans back. Okay. I'm going to say no, even though you just said yes. Well, well I mean, they are. They were an I mean, OB. Clearly. All right. What's what's the next poll on Kaplan and Cruz? After Crusoe? his first walk-off hit, is Fernando Tatis Jr. officially back? I'll say yes. I think Fernando Tatis is back. I think he is back. And then let's see. Maybe there's one more. What do you got? Oh, well, the Padres is better with the T's. Well, <laughs> well, that was part of the conversation that we've been having over the last mm -hmm. couple of weeks. So here's the deal. Go to KaplanandCrew.com and, uh, and listen, answer those poll questions. We appreciate all you guys visiting our website. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate all of y'all. All right. Uh, let's, um, let's do this. Let, let's go into this Chargers-Raiders game on Sunday. Mm-hmm. What would you like to play? What do you for think? Us? What do you think the spread is? Just, just off I, I the would, top of your head. I would guess the Chargers are favored by three. That'd be a guess. It's week one. They're at home. Uh, Herbert's coming off of an injury. The Raiders don't really. People don't feel like they have a quarterback. Mm -hmm. Har Harbaugh's first game back in the NFL. Antonio Pierce's first game as like the official head coach, not the interim head coach. Raiders defense is expected to be solid. Chargers mm -hmm. offense has lost a lot of pieces, especially in the receiving core, the skilled players, tight end, running back, et cetera. So I would think that the odds makers probably look at this game and they're like, it's kind of a question mark game. Although I would think they would lean towards the home team. They'd lean towards Harbaugh and Herbert. Um, so I'm going to, my guess would be that the Chargers are favored by three. What do you say, Brown? Uh, the price is right. You can go three and a half. Yeah, it's three. Three. Three over uh, over under only at 40 and a half, though. So that tells you what Vegas expects, what kind of game they expect. Yeah. Run that ball. Well, they mm -hmm. probably don't expect the Raiders to do very much by way of scoring. And mm -hmm. they're probably concerned about what the Chargers don't have any longer at the wide receiver position. And we're going to see, you know, what the Chargers do have. Um, I'm just I'm just hoping that Max Crosby goes off and, you know, just puts Justin Herbert down and you know, makes him uncomfortable all game long. And that the Raiders, and then Gardner Minshew. This is where I'm. This is what I'm really excited about. I'm hoping Gardner Minshew shows everybody who says the Raiders don't have a quarterback. I'm hoping Gardner Minshew says, "Yes, we do." Are you aware that the Chargers might have the best offensive line in football? I'm aware that the Chargers have three first-round draft choices on their offensive line, and one of nope. them is a rookie who moved from where he played in college at left tackle to right tackle. Um, but I don't know for sure that they have the best offensive line in football. I don't know that for sure. All right. Do you Joe for Alt. sure? Joe. Well, we will find out come Sunday. Mm -hmm. Joe Alt was one of the premier tackles in college football for years and only failed to the Chargers because all these quarterbacks were drafted ahead of him. 
Now, if this was just a straight up draft, Joe Alt would have been a top four pick. So I just I, I find it interesting. Huh? <laughs> so he would have moved up one spot. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> but this is how he would have been a top four pick. Well, yeah, he was number this five. How, yeah. This is how this how good this is how good he is, man. And so now you got you got you you set at tackles, which few teams in the NFL are set at tackle. You're set at center. They're going to run the ball. Like this is With not who? a secret. Name me their what? running backs. Bro, y'all I I'm gonna try to be calm when I say this because y'all know I missed the football. I'm gonna try to be calm when I say this. Outside of Saquon Barkley, okay, and Christian McCaffrey, the running backs are interchangeable. What about Brees Hall? Is, is Brees Hall it... a guy who's interchangeable? Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Okay. Dalvin Cook was a premier running back. Alex can, Alex can attest to this. When he's and we scored, have not interchanged him at all since he left. Uh, Madison, ain't that it's his terrible, name? terrible. Anyway, like <laughs> you I, used a terrible <laughs> example. You used a terrible <laughs> example. Like like I said, Dalvin Cook was over a twelve hundred yards every single season while he was a Viking. Last year they were awful because they're like, oh, Madison could just do that. No, he was terrible. He didn't score a single rushing touchdown all season. Terrible example. Running, Continue. Run, the team was terrible last year. Running backs mm. are interchangeable. That's for, why for, you have to have teams. more than one. Okay. So you think um, you, you like Gus Edwards? I think they got him from Baltimore, right? I, listen, it don't matter who it is. J.K. JK Dobbins. You're saying sure, that the offense. Sure. You're saying the offensive line is so good. Mm-hmm. That that it doesn't matter who the running back is. They don't need Ladanian Tomlinson. Is what you're saying? Do Correct. they need two healthy legs? It depends on what the injury is. Their legs. So I'm saying, what kind of injury are we talking on the legs? Well, Gus Edwards coming off an Achilles. J.K. Dobbins coming off ACL injury. Solid. Just not worried about no ACL. Not worried about. Yeah, no ACL. not worried about Achilles. No, no we're, about we're in the future Never. right now. Yeah, Achilles yeah. was Achilles would trouble me. ACLs, nah, no problem. You go. Nah. We're in the future. We're Hell in the future. Nah. Hell nah. nah. All right. We're in the future. Well, here's uh, Justin Herbert because 20 yards off, rushing. He was officially off the injury report yesterday after dealing with plantar well, never fasciitis. Hurt. But now he's back on the injury report, but he was a full participant because the, I think the Chargers realized it was a clerk error. They had to put him on that thing. Here's Justin Herbert getting a little snarky with the media yesterday about his injury. My, Your foot, what did that have? The pla- uh, plaster fam- fascia? Oh, I, no, I, I didn't have that, but uh, it's feeling much better, though, so I appreciate that. Did you, have? Um, you know, I think that's just something that uh, it's, you know, it's a personal thing that you'd like to keep to yourself. And um, if it's not something I have to put out there, then, you know, I think I'd like to keep that to myself and to the doctors here, especially. Okay. Whatever it was, you're back uh, 100% now? Correct. I just wanted to ask, are you wearing any type of arch or assistance there in your shoe or anything like that? Um, not that I'm aware of. Oh, wait, wait a second. So hold on. Oh, yeah. The, char- the Chargers were... Right there, baby. Yeah. Wait, wait, so the Chargers reported that Justin friends. Herbert was yeah. wearing, had plantar fasciitis and he was wearing correct. a boot during training he camp? Said, correct. He said, never gave you out a LeVar ball. Never happened. Yeah. So he, right. so he said. But then if you go to happen. chargers.com, yeah. Don't matter yeah, what they got on there. September 4th. No, it doesn't matter no what matter. chargers.com has. September 4th, 5 p.m. Uh, Justin Herbert diagnosed with an injury to plantar to his plantar fascia in his right foot. What did he say though? He said, "Ain't no such no, thing." Never the had reporter, that. no disrespect to the reporter, the reporter couldn't speak English and couldn't even get the words out. Never you had plantar, that. But you but you but you but and he's like, Never "Yeah, I didn't it. have that." Whatever the hell you just said, you idiot. <laughs> <Didn't have> that. <laughs> That's, That's not what I had. That is. That's not what I had. I did. Have Let me play the beginning. Let me tell you what. Like, we'll play the beginning. My your foot. What did have the Pla- uh, plaster fascia. Oh, I no, I, I didn't have that, but uh, it's yeah, yeah I, I didn't, didn't have that. What the hell was that? What's he, plaster so, fascia? He answered the question honestly, and that right. was that. Yeah, exactly. That mean he didn't have plantar fasciitis. Yeah, what's plaster fascia? He don't Your know. Foot. He Your don't foot know. Thing. Plaster Except fascia. He never had. He never All had right. that. Well, let's do this. Let's hear from Harbaugh. Let's hear from Devonte Adams, and let's look ahead to the entire weekend coming right up. 
What a chance it is for Adam Paxton and Victor Tingstrom to pick up their first weekly titles. Adam Paxton, well, it's been the dream debut so far for him. For Victor Tingstrom, he'll feel like this is a moment, a little while coming, a place in the final up for grabs for one. Which you can do it. Make that double 18 away from a place in the final. Wesley Plazier was beaten, knocked out by Mike Warburton in a last leg decider. Play. That is what they are playing for. They are playing for the trophy. They are playing for the big prize pot and they are playing for a place in the £25,000 Champions Week. 97. There is a point you feel that reality will surely kick in for Adam Paxton. He's here on debut. Uh, he watches the Super Series almost every single week. He was happy just to be playing in a group. This could be the leg that we talk about at the end of the Michael night as being the one that changed the final because Adam Paxton has just gone cold at the moment. Bang on he doesn't just get two, he gets the lot. Adam should take out the 16 out. If not, Mike's just behind him. He shot on the fifth leg. Can Paxton deliver one of the biggest moments of his career so far? He can. Double 12. Being what a moment that back. is from Adam, Adam Paxton. Paxton. Mike Warburton was looking at 60 to win the match. Paxton, Paxton. here's your moment. He approaches the hockey with confidence, with time, Game. and John delivers Adam, Adam Paxton the the on debut. Series. The boy, Jesus the fanboy, comes Adam to the Super Series Paxton. and wins. You know, I'm getting ready for the NFL game tonight and then tomorrow and then the weekend on Sunday. But I'm also looking at college football. And this upcoming weekend, there's really only like one premier game, and that is Texas and Michigan. It's the 9 a.m. Fox game. On Saturday, I say 9 a.m. West Coast, for those of you that are listening on the East Coast. Hey, um, I was also looking, Browner, at Colorado this weekend. You know who Colorado's playing? You the know Browns, who Coach Prime is playing? Co the Cowhusks. That's right. Uh, Colorado at Nebraska. Nebraska last week, I'm trying to remember, they beat uh, uh, Nebraska beat last week. They beat somebody, uh, and they beat them pretty convincingly. Like It was great. They beat UTEP 40-7, to whereas Colorado really struggled 31-26 against North Dakota State. I don't know what's going to happen in the game. If I had to bet it, which, by the way, I should look at the line. If I had to bet the game, I would take Nebraska at home. But I will tell you this. I'll bet on these new Coach Primes from Blenders. These new Coach Prime glasses are so cool because on the ear, they both say, they say Prime on both sides. And up at the top, it says, I believe. And they're lightweight. And I love the color, the white with the gold. I love the uh, lenses, which are polarized. And I love the price point. So, listen, here's what you need to do. Go to blenderseyewear.com, use our code Kaplan, and save 20%. It doesn't matter where you are in the country. You go onto that website, blenderseyewear.com. You use that code Kaplan. You save 20%. How about that? Shout out. Let me see what you got on there, Brown. Let me see you. Let me take a look at that brother right there. Oh, you got that. Oh, them, them Coach Primes is badass. We lit, boy. We lit. We out here reflecting. Yeah, reflecting my reflection. Yeah, and big shout-out to my boy Brett Weiss from Life Brew Coffee. The reason is is because he's in Cleveland right now, just sent me a text. He's watching, he's listening, and the other day he went and got himself some new Coach Prime. So shout-out to you, Brett. All right, out. Alex, you played for us, Justin Herbert. You said getting yeah. a little snarky with the media as we get ready for the NFL weekend. And for us, Chargers-Raiders is a big game. By the way, for CBS, it's a big game because they're sending Jim Nance and Tony Romo. And by the way, I did not – reach out to Jim this week to come on the show to talk about the game. We probably should have. Probably should have. Maybe we'll do it next week. Maybe we'll see what Jim thinks next week. Um, maybe we'll get him on next week. All right, anyway, what did uh, Jim Harbaugh say? Because he's usually pretty entertaining at these press conferences and somewhat bizarre. What did? What are we going to listen to with Harbaugh? Speaking about Justin Herbert. He's in. Uh, his practices have been uh, – I ran out of the you know, appropriate adjective. Everything I was saying was underselling it. Um, so, uh, the other thing, he's like a human computer chip, um, you know, for a brain. It's just the way he, the way he thinks, the way he can, he can, uh, you know, uh, go through information, you know, get to the, you know, 
absorb it, retain it, remember it, disseminate it. I mean, it's, it's really impressive. So I can't wait. Can't wait to watch him compete. This yeah, me too. Cheat on, this guy's going to cheat on his wife with Justin Herbert. Yeah, he, is. he loves him. Hard man crush on his quarterback. He loves him, man. You know what she signed up for. Mm. <laughs> All right, so uh, we've heard from Harbaugh. We've heard from Herbert. Now, on the other side, everybody assumes that Devontae Adams wants out of Las Vegas, wants off the Raiders. Probably mm-hmm. most of us feel that way because we all watch receiver and we saw him talk about how he's going to get himself killed playing for that team. So what did Devontae Adams have to say in advance of this game? What are we about well, to listen to? There was a report by former Eagles wide receiver Deshaun Jackson that Devontae has been saying he wants out of Vegas. So Devontae, mm. without being asked about it, opened his press conference yesterday talking about that particular I guess report. Because the, the most recent one about Deshaun Jackson saying whatever he, he talked to me or whatever. I mean, I almost put a video out the other day, but then I, I came back on it because I just didn't want to even bring the attention and start put, you know, having that in the team's mind and you know everything I say ends up and I'm sure this will be t- I don't know what's it's going on with that audio. audio. I turned it off anyway. Ooh. He called it BS. Didn't yeah, it's hear- terrible audio. Not fact. Not fact. Complete BS. And if it doesn't come from me, don't listen to it. Okay. All right. We won't. We won't listen to it. But I can probably assume, let's say, I don't know, a team in New York decides to call the Raiders. It's like, hey, we want Devontae. I don't think Devontae is going to throw his hands up and be like, nope, don't want the, Don't want to go there. Right. I'm going to tell you all right now. Let the Raiders start struggling and the Jets start struggling at the same time. Jets. Devontae Adams. Will be Jets. on the first thing smoking to New York City. Jet, Jet struggling. What are you talking about? In fact, as a matter, this would be a really good time. Alex, can we show everybody? Browner has made his picks. You made your picks. I made my picks. Yeah. Let's let's go to the slide and let's show Browner. These are your division winners and what you think will happen in the Super Bowl. Is that right? The two teams that will match up in the Super Bowl. Let's, yes, sir. Let, let's take a look here, Alex. Let's let's see Browner's yes, first. All right, Browner. I'm also not sure if Browner knows how division championships work, but I guess we're about to find out. Okay. Here's Browner's picks for the year. Okay, Brown, go ahead, man. What you got? In the AFC, I got the Chargers and the Chiefs tying. Tying. Okay. I got the Broncos in third, Raiders in fourth. And the That's NFC AFC West. West. Okay. You can't tie. You can't have the same record? You can have the same record, but you can't. Someone will be a division champion. Someone won't. I'm going to leave them to, I'm gonna leave them to sort that out. You ask okay. me. I'm, this is from a record perspective. I'm saying that they're going to be one and one. What's wrong? Come on, man. Don't try to do that to me. You know, you know, he's been saying since the day hired, he said that Harbaugh is the better coach than Andy Reid. Right. So now, but now he won't put his money where his mouth is. Mm -hmm. I just did. No, you should have said the Chargers are going to win the division. The Chiefs are going to come in second. I wouldn't switch it. No, I can't. (laughs) Done. (laughs) All right. right. NFC West. 49ers in first place. Cardinals in second place, followed by Rams and Seahawks. And for my Super Bowl, I got Ravens. Eagles. Let them birds battle it out. Okay. Oh. Grande? Grande, can you show us uh, your picks? Oh, Grande's picks. Uh, probably the winning picks because that's what happens on this show during football season. Uh, here are mine. Hold on. No, they're not. Here oh. they are. Oh. Coming at you real quick. Oh. oh. Uh, in AFC West, no surprise. Chiefs going to win that thing. Chargers going to come in second just because the Broncos and Raiders are not going to be very good this year, in my opinion especially because the Broncos have a rookie quarterback, even though he's 24 years old, and the Raiders don't have a quarterback. On the NFC West side, I think this might be surprising to some. I think the Niners will make will win the division, but the Seahawks are going to make the playoffs. The Cardinals are not, but they'll finish third. And I don't think the Rams are very good. I'm standing by that. I know Eric Williams said that they're going to win 10 games. I don't see it, Ooh. but that's how I got it. Okay, and your Super Bowl? Uh, Chiefs versus Lions. Okay, all right, here comes the Lions. Picks. choked that thing away last year. They should have they won. Okay, here come my picks for you. Here's my division winners. In the AFC West, um, I am going to take the Chiefs to win the AFC West. I don't think that's any major surprise, uh, but it's probably going to be a surprise uh, for, for what I got after that. Raiders, I'm a Minshew on, believer. Man. I'm a Minshew on, believer. Man. Okay, come Broncos, on, and then the Chargers, because everybody will get hurt for the Chargers. In the West, 49ers, then Rams, then Cardinals, then Seahawks, and I got the Lions and the Jets in the Super Bowl. Go Whoa. Aaron Rodgers. Right. Wow. Me, me and USA today. I'm going out on a limb, Jack. I'm going out on a limb, Jack. Stick around, everybody. 
what has happened, what has transpired here at the First Bank Center here in Denver, Colorado. It wasn't just a big night of fights, it was a big night of memorable moments. Conor McGregor with us here in Denver, Colorado. Both left hand from Mark Bull. Right hand, right back from Mike Perry. And McGregor Could I get a face-off with Conor McGregor, man? It's an incredible setup here. Incredible matchmaking. Incredible storytelling. Oh, you had to come here. All these fighters that step in here. Warriors and all have my respect and I'm into this game. Yeah, we'll be into this. Yeah And we are live here in the Maverick Center here in Salt Lake City, Utah folks. What a night it is going to be historic indeed for BKFC 56 Whoever's the king of violence right here, this is gonna be a great fight fighting in the city of Angels. We've got the biggest announcement in the BKFC history we're about to make, so let's make that announcement. What's up, Knuckle Mania? The notorious Conor McGregor here. Ladies and gentlemen, the huge announcement that I have for you today. Conor McGregor, myself, and McGregor Sports and Entertainment is now an owner of Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship. Welcome to the big leagues. David Feldman, baby, he did it. He's now an owner of BKFC with us, and we're going to take this motherfucking thing all the way to the top now. I see that uh, everybody's in our live YouTube chat thinking I'm out of my mind because I took the Lions and the Jets in the Super Bowl. The only reason I did that is just for the fun of it. Like, who the hell knows? Like, everybody's just going to assume Kansas City from the AFC, and maybe, maybe somebody might say Baltimore. Maybe they would say Buffalo. Uh, I'm just giving an example. On the on the NFC side of things, I think a lot of people like Philadelphia. Um, for me, I'm just like, what the heck, man? Let's just take a shot. I want to see the Lions make it to the Super Bowl. I want to see Jared Goff. I'm a Jared Goff fan. Uh, I'm a Dan Campbell fan. I'd love to see the Lions get in. But on the other hand, um, for, I'm an Aaron Rodgers fan. And I know he's become a, 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 a polarizing character, but I like Aaron Rodgers. And I think it would be hilarious if Aaron Rodgers stuck it to everybody and actually took the lowly Jets all the way to the Super Bowl. Let's see if he can complete a pass for that team first. Well, let's see if he can stay healthy past like three plays. Well, I mean, completing a pass would be an improvement over the 2023 season. That's Playing facts. more than four snaps would be an improvement over the 2023 season. That's Super true. Bowl, though. My gosh. I know. What's the odds just, on that? Just for the fun of it. Why Drugs, not? Bro. Drugs, bro. Drugs. All right, let's do this. Let, yeah. Let's let's make a prize pick uh, card for everybody who's listening right now, everybody who's watching right now. Here's what I'd like everybody to do um, because football season is here. If you have not yet downloaded the Prize Picks app, let's all do it right now. Download Prize Picks. Use our code Great Friends. They are going to do this for you. When you make a five dollar play, they're going to give you a fifty dollar bonus. You can win the play and get fifty bucks. You can lose the play and get fifty bucks. You make a five dollar play, you get a fifty dollar bonus in your account. It's instantaneous, but you got to use our code Great Friends. So download the Prize Picks app and let's all play together and let's all win together. All right. As far as tonight's game, does because I, 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 I play immediately. I, I can't wait until Sunday. I'll play the Caleb Williams free square for half a yard passing. I'll play that on Saturday preparing for Sunday. I can't play the Caleb Williams free uh, square today because I'm going to play Ravens and I'm going to play Chiefs players. Guys, Derrick Henry, half of a rushing or receiving touchdown. I think Derrick Henry is going to score a touchdown tonight for Baltimore. Or at least I like my chances on that one. You guys have anything else that you'd like to add? Yeah, I'm taking, I, I saw the Travis Kelsey uh, yeah. 59 and a half receiving yards. That's yep. that's a more for me right there. Okay, that's a more for me too. Mm -hmm. That's a more for me right there. I, I, I got. I don't, I don't I got, got the. I don't got the the the, the four to two to do the, the the demon 84 and a half, but I like five 59 and a half. First of all, it's demon season, so don't say you ain't got it in you. The demon football is demon season, my man. Mm -hmm. So. But what I will tell you, I love that Travis Kelsey 59. I also like the Xavier Worthy 45 and a half for more because that's just one pass for this kid. 
This guy's mm. lightning fast. He might catch one pass for 60 yards, and that'd be his night. So and, I'll and give I also you a, like Lamar Jackson for one and a half more passing, rushing, receiving touchdowns. Wait, wait, Here's can you I, say that? Can you say that one, one more time? Lamar, because I got I got a six pick. Y'all already know I, I do sixes, and I dropped a nice little amount of uh, you know uh, unit on it. So I got uh, I was about Lamar Jackson more than one and a half pass rushing or receiving touchdowns. Okay. Obviously, I don't think he will play receiving that. too many. Okay, all right. What do you got, Alex? There's a great uh, there's a great combo. Mark Andrews, Xavier Worthy, more than half of a rushing or reception touchdown. Okay. Uh, okay, wait a second. I got to go. You say a combo play? Yeah, Mark you Andrews, Xavier Worthy. Okay. Mark Andrews, Xavier Worthy. I'm looking for it. And it's a combo of rushing and receiving yards or fill me in touchdowns. on touchdowns. Okay, I missed that one. So I got to find it. I got to find that one. Uh, anybody? I'm playing the kickers, too. I'm playing, you know, Justin Tucker's on my fantasy team, so I got to play him tonight, too. You know, I got to check my fantasy teams. I drafted so long ago. I forgot about them. Okay. I've got uh, Justin Tucker to have more than seven kicking points tonight. So here's my final card. I've got Derrick Henry for more than half of a rushing or receiving touchdown. Travis Kelsey for more than 59 and a half yards receiving Xavier worthy for more than 45 and a half receiving yards. Lamar Jackson for more than one and a half passing rushing or receiving touchdowns. And I've got Justin Tucker for more than seven points. Twenty dollar play, two hundred dollar win, all happening right now on Prize Picks. So here's what I want you to do: download the Prize Picks app, use our code Great Friends, and uh, they're going to take really good care of you because you make your first five dollar play, they give you a fifty dollar bonus right away. Anything else, Brown? You said you play <sighs> six. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, I have my, I got my. Uh, y'all know I do six packs when it comes to to the football. I got more than 59 and a half receiving yards for Travis Kelsey because I had that one. I got more than 271 and a half passing yards for Patrick Mahomes. I already told you about my Lamar Jackson pick. Zay Flowers, more than 54 and a half receiving yards. Derrick Henry, more than 65 and a half rushing yards. And I got the Xavier Worthy, uh, 45 and a half receiving yards. So, and I, and I, listen, listen, I put down on that thing. I put down on that thing. small house. Um, I, uh, I've just added, <laughs> he to put my the play. t-ball equipment on that thing. Yeah, he did. I just added to my play Harrison Butker and Justin Tucker for more than one field goal of 48 yards or longer. Cause mm, one of those guys is going to hit one at the end of the first half. Pretty hot. Yeah. Pretty hot today. Yeah, I know they're going to crush pretty it. Hot. There's like 85 degrees up there. Download the prize picks app. Use our code. Great friends. They'll, uh, they'll give you a, a, a $50 bonus when you make a five dollar play whether you win or you lose let's play together let's win together let's do it all together on prize picks lots more to get to stick around the bostonian versus the book would it make you feel better as a better or as a sports fan if they said after the game we were trying to cover the script oh god to say it out loud Oh my I mean, God! No. So what, no. to, like, say, to say it out loud? Oh my God! You can't say that out loud. No, you can't even. You can't do that. Okay. So, so what is the big deal? Either way. Oh, play the game the right way. The Bostonian versus the book. I feel like the first person to take a kicker in fantasy football is somebody that feels like, man, I had a really bad draft. Let me make sure I get the best kicker. <laughs> I've, always, I've always looked at it that way. Like, oh, I did so bad. So let me take Justin Tucker. The key for me is though, I make marks. Okay, this guy, I, I, I'll highlight him because I don't want three or four of these guys. I draft three or four of these guys and they all get hurt. I have no one to blame but me. Fantasy Sports Today, only on Sports Grid. When you're really, really amazing like this, People kind of take it for granted. Same with Otani, right? People will sort of see, oh, Otani did this, Otani did that, and it sort of, you know, becomes normalized a little bit. But to put in context, Aaron Judge joins the 1,000 hit club, reaches, um, gets it done. So earlier this month, he was uh, the fastest player to reach uh, 300 home runs ever. Sports Rage Late Night, only on Sports Grid. Let's go. Welcome to the Live Golf Team Championship. The golf has been mesmerizing. They are the Live Golf Team Champions. Team Golf is back. Oh, yes! Are you ready? Let's go! That's what champions do.
All right, great friends. Hey, it is Thursday. We got the Chiefs tonight, uh, and we've got uh, Baltimore tonight, and we've got tomorrow Philadelphia and Green Bay, and then Sunday we got a full lineup, and the NFL is back. Football season is back. And to all the ladies out there who are not into football, and I know a lot of you girls are, but to the ladies that are not, like my girlfriend, she's into it because I'm into it, but she doesn't love, love, love it. It's back. You know, and my wife and, hates you know, this part of the season. So does my see my girlfriend feels the same way, but like my girlfriend she might also hate our next guest a little bit. Oh, really? Maybe. Oh, wow, wow. Maybe, maybe. Uh, from Sports Injury <laughs> Central, sixscore.com, S I C score.com. One of the all time greatest of great friends, Craig Dato, is here. He'll be with us on Thursdays during the football season. And Craig, we're hoping that uh, together. We're all going to make a lot of money this football season by using the six score analysis. What do you say, man? How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me again. Yeah. We're going to have you every Thursday. All right. We'll do it. All right. I'm available. Uh, okay. You are available, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I usually wash my hair on Thursdays, but for you, I'll, I'll, I'll come on. Wow. That's really sweet of you. It's really, really yeah. nice. Hey, before we get started so that people understand what six score is and what six score does, let, let's tell everybody about it. And then once everybody understands what you guys do, then we can start getting into some like player props. We can get into some game plays, you know, how, wherever we're going to go with this today. You got it. So the first thing to say is that the guy who's calling the shots on who's injured and who's not is Dr. David Chow, the pro football doc, who was with the head team doctor for the Chargers for 17 years. Our staff scours the Internet for film, for anything written by anybody. And based on all those indicators, Dr. Chow puts a six score on each and every player in the NFL, which is a a score from zero to 100. If you're over 85, you're green, you're playing. If you're 70 to 84, you're yellow, and you probably play, but you're a little compromised. And if you're below 70, you're red, and you're not playing. So we look at every player individually, and then we load it into our injury uh, algorithm. And based on all the different players and the type of team they are and and the schemes they have, both on offense and defense, we come up with team scores. Uh, And these team scores are extremely accurate when you're betting against the spread. In other other words, when there's an injury mismatch, one team's a 90, another team's an 80, that team with the higher score against the game time spread will cover about 57% of the time, which if you're a serious gambler, you know that's really high. But you can also use us for fantasy plays, daily fantasy, for prize picks like you guys were talking about. And we have a we have an algorithm for that, too. And, and I'm happy to share with you guys uh, what we got for any questions you might have. OK, um, you may have just been hearing us talk about what we're going to play uh, tonight because mm-hmm. I'm an immediacy player, Craig. I can't wait. You know, I can't I can't play today for Sunday. I have to I have to play for tonight so that then I can see what I got to play with tomorrow. Uh, what do you like? Are there any player props that you guys really like? We don't like tonight's game. Um, and we're very disciplined. If we don't like something, we don't give anything out. These teams are very evenly matched when it comes to injuries. Baltimore score is 92.2. And the Chiefs score is 90.6. That's not enough for us to make a, a play. And there's really no individual prop bets we like either. So when we don't like anything, we're happy to pass. However, there are five games we really, really like to bet on this week. And uh, I can't give them all out here because uh, people who pay. Uh, But I'm going to have I'm going to give you a way here at the end of the show for all your listeners to get it for free. Um, But uh, I got props that I like all week and, and I'm happy to answer any other questions. But nothing tonight. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. I, mean, what I, about, I, I like your discipline because I don't have that discipline. No, you don't. Uh, but what about players playing tonight? Is there any sort of injuries that we should need to focus not on for really. like fantasy team? Nothing. Nothing. Like, I mean, I've got some serious recommendations for you guys. There's four guys in particular that everybody wants to know about that I'm happy to cover. And then I've got two big recommended plays and two recommended fades that I'll go over. But none of them hit on tonight or tomorrow night. Okay, so so then well, listen. You, you said that you know everybody, p- people come to your website sixscore.com. They pay for your analysis because they use that analysis for how they're going to bet. But you said you would give us an an, a, an opportunity for people to get some stuff for free. Is that right? Let's do that right now. What do you say? Yeah, do it. Oh. <laughs> Go to our site and use the promo code Kaplan, and you'll get our entire Sick Picks package, all our picks, all our data, absolutely free for week one. So go now. You got nothing to lose. Sign up for the service. Uh, put in the promo code, and you'll get it absolutely free. 
and you'll see all the data with all the all the six scores for all the teams, all the six scores for all the players, the field views. But most importantly, you can go to Sick Picks, and we're going to give out five games this week that we really like, and those will be in there absolutely free. All right, so just to be clear, when I look up at the top of the website and I see all the different things, home, premium, sick matchups, sick insights, sick picks, um, I see there's a lock next to those. Should I be clicking on one of those? Yeah, when you go in there, that's, the lock means you got to pay for that. So you go in there and sign up and use the promo code, and, and you, we won't charge you anything. Promo so we, code is no, I can't. No, I can't click it on screen because then you'll see the picks because I have. Oh, to oh, because he's an admin. <laughs> he's got all. He's, yeah, already, that. he's yeah. already there. You do that. Yeah. All right, so go to six score s i c six score dot com, yeah. and for everybody who like me is looking for extra analysis to know who to play. Craig's got all of this analysis, and you use our code Kaplan. He'll give you the entire first week for free. Nice. Well, yeah, I got something for lose. Craig. Absolutely nothing to lose, and everybody should do it. Uh, but we do have something that we've been talking about all show. And that's Justin Herbert. Now, Justin yeah. Herbert yesterday, I think he was playing with the media member because the media member didn't know how to speak English, asking about his plantar fasciitis. He called it a, a hoobaloo boojaboo. So, like, <laughs> what is going on with Justin Herbert? How, did, how does Six Score feel about Justin Herbert going in week one? So he definitely has the, the plantar fasciitis. And it's a situation where it can be injected and it can be managed. He will definitely play. But where it hurts him is that you generally don't practice very much when you have this injury. So he has not been practicing a lot. It's a new system with Harbaugh. He hasn't been practicing. It's going to be a disadvantage, but he will definitely be out there this weekend. And he, we, we don't think he has a, any limitations other than lack of practice time. Seems like a big deal. It you is. Know, but I mean, again, on game day, you can manage it. You can inject it. You can numb it up. He'll be okay. But, you know, new receivers, new scheme, I, I don't personally really like it. Okay. You know that that actually makes that that kind of makes me think I should go back in, uh, and I I should look at his numbers for the weekend. Like, what are his passing yard numbers? I may play less. He's got new new system, lack of practice, whole new receiving core. I may play less on Justin Herbert this weekend. I like it. I, I think when in doubt, always go less because the inexperienced players who don't know what they're doing tend to always go over. So the yards are always slightly inflated. So if you're not sure what to do, always go under. Okay, I hmm. see his number right here, 223 passing yards, 223 and a half passing yards. Ooh, that's that's hard. That's, that, that's, that, that's, a, rushing, that's a rushing team now, too, remember. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm, I'm telling y'all, off top, I'm telling y'all, buckle up, buckle okay. up for the run. Okay, so you like less. less I got on another one for Craig. All right, fantasy, go ahead. Fantasy, big fantasy implications. Haven't Ooh. seen him on a football field in about a month. He's your boy, Christian McCaffrey. Yeah, we think he's absolutely fine. Uh, calf injury, we think it's minor. The Niners were very cautious here and basically shut him down for the entire preseason. However, I think it's clear if these were real games, he would have played. He would not have missed any time. He's 100% to go. Um, God, I don't know about the 49ers, though, but, but most of the 49ers' problems are on the defensive side of the ball. So it really should not affect his performance. Um, he, he's a 92-6 score. I think he's good to go. Hey, Craig, um, I've heard Doc Chow say that when a running back has a knee injury, an ACL injury the year before, the following year is kind of like a recovery year, and then it takes him like a full season, right? Correct. So what, what does Doc say about things like, for example, Aaron Rodgers coming off of an Achilles, Kirk Cousins coming off of an Achilles, because I'm bullish on Aaron Rodgers this year. We're b bullish on Aaron Rodgers, too. He's not a very scrambling mobile quarterback anyway. Um, the Achilles was not on his push-off foot. We don't see any problems with Aaron Rodgers at all. And, and you know, thank God for his health. They shored up that offensive line. Um, but they're going to get tested by the Niners this, this, this Monday night. Wow, what a weekend, right? I mean, you got the Rams and the Lions on Sunday night. You've got the Niners and the Jets and the storyline of that game on Monday night. What an incredible start to the season we're all about to have. And it all kicks off tonight between Kansas City and Baltimore. And as Craig says, the guys at Six Score, SIC, SixScore.com, because of the health of both of these teams, they're going to be disciplined and not make a play on tonight's game. I don't know if I share that same discipline. Everybody stick around. Craig Dato from Six Score is here. And Craig says he's got more to give away to us. Hang out, everybody. Craig's coming right back. Anyone that's been to a sporting event, 
the atmosphere before a game. I think Game Time Decisions has that same exact atmosphere. This is our arena. This is what we do. There is going to be an energy to game time decisions that you will feel night in and night out. The excitement you get when you, when you lock your bets and when you're figuring out what you want to do, we can zone in on the biggest games each night. I want this to be the place that people come to before the games start so they feel as ready as possible to lock in their cards. We are going to hit every single one of those markets that you need to know about. We're gonna go through every single thing and I've got a great team behind me that's gonna help me get the job done. There is not gonna be a better place, I promise you, than Game Time Decisions to get that new information, react to it, and be able to then bet accordingly. We will have everything at our disposal and we will use that to our advantage. I'm Kevin Walsh. Tune into Game Time Decisions from 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern on SportsGrid. Your gut says Miami is going to win and you should take the over. Your gut also said your NFT selfies would only go up in value. They didn't. But your head is on sports grid and knows the QB is in concussion protocol. The backup has a 45 QBR against the zone coverage. The New York D has the most sacks in the league. So yeah, trust your head. It's smarter to be on sports grid. Let's go. Welcome to the Live Golf Team Championship. The golf has been mesmerizing. They are the Live Golf Team Champions. Team Golf is back. Oh, yes! Are you ready? Let's go! That's what champions do. All right, great friends. Hey, it is Thursday. It is kickoff of the NFL season. This is Kaplan and crew with Grande and the Brown Man. We're in the Seven Mile Casino Studios, sevenmilecasino.com. You want great food? You want easy access right off the freeway? You want a no-smoking casino? You got it all at Seven Mile Casino. Their website is sevenmilecasino.com. All right, we're talking to Craig Dato from Sports Injury Central. Craig, just take us back to the beginning. You said you had a couple of things here for us, some things that you do feel kind of good about that you might share with us here today. Absolutely. Let's talk quarterbacks first. Um, when looking at the quarterbacks in the league and their player six scores, also looking at the health of their offensive line and also looking at the health of their pass catchers, while at the same time looking at the health of the defensive lines, the, the pass rush really of the teams they're playing and the health of the secondaries that they're playing against, what we do here is we take in, if you want to talk about daily fantasy, we take into account what the salaries are for these guys, um, what we think their projected pay, uh, points are going to be, and we come up with basically points per thousand. I who in our algorithm is at the top of the list this year. Does that all make sense, Scott? Is that too confusing? Wait, it, no, no, it's fine. It's just you broke up for one second. You were about to say points per thousand. Can you just back up like 10 seconds? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, say in uh, say in uh, fan, uh, FanDuel, you know, you'll have a salary of 8,500 points for a quarterback or so. And then mm -hmm. you divide by the number of points we think they're going to score based on all the injuries. We come up with what's called a points per thousand mm dollars. -hmm. And the quarterback that, that's at the very top this week, the best deal, the value deal is CJ Stroud. Uh, we love him this week for the reason that he's extremely healthy. His O-line is healthy. He's got three pass catchers that are all healthy and the Indy defensive pass rush is banged up. He should have all day to throw the ball, sit back there and pick them apart. The Indy defensive backfield is healthy, but because of the O line, uh, the D line being banged up, we think CJ Stroud's going to have a big day. So we're, okay. we're on him. Okay. Now the, now uh, a quarterback that we're going to fade is going to be Tua. Um, oh, Dolphins are playing at Jacksonville. Tua himself is healthy. His pass catchers are only an 83 point. Uh, his cat, excuse me, his pass catchers are an 85.3, and his offensive pass protecting line is 83.6. Those aren't very high. Those are in the uh, in the yellow range. So we don't love his off offensive protection or his pass catchers. And at the same time, Jacksonville's defense, their pass rush, and their secondary are extremely healthy. So we're going to fade Tua. I believe Tua 
um, on price picks is 268 and a half yards. I'm going to go under on that and I'm going to fade to it on all daily fantasy plays. Mm. Now this how isn't, do you, how do you find your, your way to guide against some of these preseason injuries when you're going into the regular season with, with guys are actually going to be playing? Like, like you said, Christian McCaffrey, you don't think he was hurt the whole time. This is just something you put on a report so he can get the time off and it's no yep. big deal. Yep. I felt the same thing for Justin Herbert. I didn't really think he was hurt. I just thought, okay, well, we've seen enough of this. Let somebody else get these, get this work in. Yep. That happens all around the league. Yep. How do you how do you adjust for that? Oh, we just put we just give them a high six score. Like I said, Justin Herbert's six score is in the nineties. Uh, CMC six score is ninety two. The problem two is six score is ninety four. He's fine, but his O line is not fine. And mm. his pass catchers are not fine. They they are in the yellow range. So that's mm. going to hurt him. And as I said, the team he's playing against Jacksonville is extremely healthy. They're coming and they're guarding. So we think the two is two may struggle this this week. I don't know if this is a fantasy implication. This is just news coming out as we speak. Mister mm-hmm. uh, Mister Unlimited oh. was actually limited today in practice. This Mike Tomlin told uh, Pittsburgh reporters that. Russell Wilson is going to see doctors because he had calf tightness today and it was only a limited participant in practice. Well, I can tell you this, Alex, that's good timing. Stroud is at the very top of the list for all quarterbacks. As far as points for thousand dollars, the very bottom of the list is Russell mm. Wilson. Mm. Yeah. I think we're all kind of down on Russell Wilson. Craig Dato from six score is here. Hey, Craig, tell everybody one more time how they can get your picks this week for free. Go to, uh, go to our website at Sports Injury Central, which is SICscore.com. When you go to the homepage there, go up to the top where it says Sick Picks. You'll mm-hmm. see, you click on it. There's a little lock by it. It means you got to pay for it. Get in there, sign up for the service, and put in the promo code Kaplan, and we'll give you week one absolutely free, which includes all of our picks, sides, props, everything, and access to all our data. We want all the, the Kaplan listeners to try it out, see if they like it. So we're willing to give you week one for free. Would you, do you know, I mean, right now we, we've been talking a lot about Chargers Raiders. Is there a, does somebody stand out in terms of injuries or health? Uh, Chargers Raiders. Can you give me a second to pull yeah, it up? Take, yeah. Um, this was not on the script, Scotty. You're going off. Well, I didn't know. I didn't even know script. we had a script. I didn't know we had a script. Right. I, I, well, I, you'd I, have to read the, you'd have to read the show notes for that, you know? Yeah. yeah. Which I don't do. Much. I know I don't, you don't. Do. I don't even know why I send them. <laughs> I don't. Even, I don't even Every remember day. them. I don't even remember. Okay, so, so yeah, yeah much, never me. much like tonight's game, guys. This is dead even on injuries. Uh, the Raiders are a uh, ninety-one, and the Chargers are ninety-one point nine. So I really, I've got nothing here for you. There, well, I got one for you. What do you got? Locally as well, Puka. Oh, oh, Puka's hurt. Puka's yeah. You got to fade Puka this week for sure. Um, where's Puka on here? Yeah, wow. Puka, Puka's at the bottom, like the fifth from the bottom on my starting receivers here. Yeah, he's he's got a low six score of uh, of seventy three. Wow, Ooh. so he's barely yellow. He's going to play, we think, but we don't think he's going to be effective. Um, his offensive line that's going to protect Stafford is only a sixty seven, mm-hmm. and Stafford himself is a ninety. That's okay. And then Detroit, who they're playing against, they're going to be coming. Their 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 pass rush defense is healthy. Their secondary is an eighty six. But yeah, I'm not a I'm not a Puka fan in week one. Oh, yeah. wow. I'm fading the Rams in general, Craig. I know. I I, yeah, we had Eric Williams yesterday say they're going to win ten games. I was like, I just don't see it, dude. I don't know. Yeah, Alex is very uh, down, very very down on the Rams. I'm, I mean, I'm, name one player on their defense. Yeah. Um, well, they got the uh, two kids that they drafted from Florida State. Mm-hmm. The one kid, uh, mm-hmm. his name is, uh, mm-hmm. and the other kid's name is, uh. <laughs> what high school they go to? <laughs> <laughs> they didn't go to high school here in Southern California, so I'm not, I'm not keeping All up right. with them. Gotcha. You know. All right. Well, Craig, it is great to be with you, and thank you for giving out the uh, the free picks for everybody who's listening and watching. That's awesome, dude. Happy to do it, and uh, we'll see how we do this week, and then I'll see you guys next week, and you can either praise me or yell at me. <laughs> hey, real quick, we got 20 seconds. Um, we have a horse running tomorrow, or excuse me, Saturday at Del Mar. What do you, name the horse for us, what race, et cetera. Yeah, this is a big deal. By the way, how about Raging Torrent? Did we, we uh, Have I seen you since we won? We Well, I've seen you, but I haven't seen you on the show. By the way, yeah. we got 10 seconds. Yeah. What, the horse this weekend? Okay, uh, so there she was in the Del Mar debutante. This is the two-year-old female championship. She's okay. amazing, but All she's right. in deep water, Scotty. We're in okay. against some great horses. Oh, so we'll I know. See what All right, we're wrapping things up next.
buy or sell, Anthony Richardson will be a top seven fantasy quarterback this season. We're keeping this realistic here. We know that nobody would think that he'll be in the top three, probably not even the top five. How about top seven, George? Buy or sell? You know, if he stays healthy, top five is not out of question here at all. He's a running quarterback. We know how valuable valuable they can be. My worry is going to be what I mentioned when we talked about the uh, the Indianapolis Colts. Boy, man, if Pittman were to go down, mm, there's not a lot to throw. He'll be running for his life half the uh, time there. Uh, I like Richardson a lot. Small sample size of what we saw of what he's going to be. I played the five games last year before the injury here. Uh, so, for a longer season, we'll see if he gets to catch up to him, what he can do. He's going to have to prove he can throw the ball. He'll be down the field here. I'm going to buy this, all right? I'm going to buy. I, I want to buy on Anthony Richardson. I want him to be that guy because I want to see the excitement that he can bring. Uh, that I I think, you know, smart money might say take the, go the other way because there's so many quarterbacks in that tier that, hey, he can have a good year and still not finish top seven. That being said, I think he will show, just like he did last year, he's going to be dynamic. I'm buying top seven. Yeah, it reminds me so much of, of Cam Newton uh, in the early days, too. I'm going to sell. I'm going to sell on this. I, I think it's too high. I, I think most leagues uh, take away points for interceptions, if that's the case. I think his numbers are going to be 20-something touchdowns, 15, 16-something interceptions. That's going to negate some stuff. Um, yes, he will run. Can he play an entire season? Still very questionable for me. I, I have him as the ninth best fantasy quarterback at the end of the season just outside the top seven so i'm gonna go sell on that all right we are into the final two minutes here and i say two minutes it's more like six but the final plays here of the fourth quarter and this is Kaplan and crew with Grande and the Brown man. I will tell everybody who's listening right now on Sirius XM channel 159, everybody who's watching on sports grid TV. When we finish, we go to YouTube exclusively and that's where the show gets uncensored. So make sure that if you want to hang out with us a little bit more, you come to our YouTube channel at Kaplan and crew and that's on YouTube. Now, Alex, we can get to yeah. the highlight of the day here, man. Mm -hmm. which we haven't talked about. I promised everybody I was going to talk about this. I want to talk about her for just one quick second. Yeah. Okay. Highlight of the day. Can we do this? It's presented by Tory Holistics, California Holistics, Oxnard Holistics, Mammoth Holistics. If you need cannabis products for sleep, for anxiety, for recreation, for pain, whatever the case may be, you buy them from our partners, Tory Holistics, California Holistics, Oxnard Holistics, and Mammoth Holistics, and the QR code is on the screen. Yeah, massive day today in soccer world because uh... – U.S. women's national star, San Diego Wave player, Alex Morgan, announced that she is officially retiring from professional soccer. So not just the national team. She's retiring in general. Reason being probably is because she also announced that she's pregnant. So she will play her final game ever for the San Diego Wave on Sunday. I believe they play at 5 p.m. And then she's officially retiring. Saw her Instagram this morning. She had this post and she kind of I could tell she was all teary eyed. And she mm -hmm. was like, I'm just going to get right to it. In fact, do we have the video? I think we do I have, have some video. of it. Yes. Yeah. Go ahead and play a little bit of it. I'm going to get to the point quickly. Um, I'm retiring and I have so much clarity about this decision. And I am so happy to be able to finally tell you um, it has been. <sighs> A long time coming and this decision wasn't easy but at the beginning of 2024 I felt in my heart and soul that this was the last season that I would play soccer you know um, when I saw her say this she lives right around the corner from me I will just tell you that um, I'm always looking to try and run into her in town somewhere <laughs> So I love Alex Morgan. <laughs> Just hang out by her house and be like, oh, she going for a run? Oh, start running. Yeah, dude, I hey, love her. I don't I, think I, she's running outside. No, dude, I absolutely love her. Um, many years ago, she had written a book, and I, I had her on a podcast, and she was awesome. And I just love her. I love the player that she was. I love what she stood for. And I can tell you guys right now, no joke, my daughter and I, when my daughter was playing, like, high school uh, club, ECNL, soccer, people know, you know, 
you know, it's a preparatory league for people who are going to play college soccer. My daughter and I would drive to our soccer matches. Um, you know, we have to travel to Vegas or Phoenix or wherever. And we would talk about her book. We would read passages from her book. She was just like me and my daughter. Her and her dad were super, super tight. And she just, I loved her until one thing happened. And I, I don't blame Alex Morgan for this. The U.S. women's national team was playing here in San Diego at the former Qualcomm Stadium. When the game was over, I took my two daughters, who I, w- I was with my two girls at the time, two of my three, and we went down um, to the press conference slash locker room area because I would said to Alex during the podcast, hey, if you don't mind, I'll, I'll come find you after the game. I'd love to take a picture with you and my girls. Mm-hmm. We go down after the game, and there's this picture. There's my daughter Jillian on the left, who is a really, really good soccer player, and my daughter Julia, who is just you know wearing the U.S. women's national team shirt. And there's Alex Morgan in the middle, and she was very polite, and she was super sweet, and she took a picture with the girls, and this is one of those pictures we'll have forever. Dude, security, not security, PR for the U.S. women's national team came up and freaked out at me. Get him out of here. Throw him out of here. You just embarrassed the entire event. I'm like, what are you talking about, bro? I've got a proper credential to be down here, and we talked earlier this week, and she was totally cool with it. And I knew all the security guys at the stadium because I, I was working NFL football games every weekend. Dude, they kicked me out. Like, they mm-hmm. didn't arrest me. They didn't put my hands behind my back. But they, like, they ushered me and my daughters out because this guy from the U.S. Women's National Team PR freaked out, dude, lost his mind because I took a picture of my daughters with Alex Morgan. Alex, I love you, girl. Congratulations on your brilliant career. Start that family. Start that life, man. And, uh, and Second you are- kid. Well, whatever. You are an all-time legend <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. I didn't know she already had a kid. I had no idea. Second kid. Yeah. Second kid. But it's, yes, agreed. And what a great career, man. If you go through her accomplishments, I mean, there's nothing that she didn't win. So, And she helped to bring a, a championship to San Diego already, too. They won. They didn't win the title, but they won some sort of cup last year. So, yeah. What you think about all that, Brown? You're not impressed, huh? Because she's a soccer player. Is that the deal? I am happy that she's going to do what makes her happy. Congratulations on the pregnancy because uh, it's difficult for some women to have children. So if you have the blessing to be able to do that, congratulations. Outside of that, could care less. <laughs> no, well, San Diego just lost their most famous athlete. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen, uh, we're going to go get uncensored. We're handing things off on the grid over to Pharrell. Come join us on YouTube. Your gut says Miami is going to win and you should take the over. Your gut also said your NFT selfies would only go up in value. They didn't. But your head is on sports grid and knows the QB is in concussion protocol. The backup has a 45 QBR against the zone coverage. The New York D has the most sacks in the league. So yeah, trust your head. It's smarter to be on sports grid. There is going to be an energy to game time decisions that you will feel night in and night out. We're going to go through every single thing, and I've got a great team behind me that's going to help me get the job done. I want this to be the place that people come to. We are going to hit every single one of those markets that you need to know about. There is not going to be a better place, I promise you, than game time decisions. We will have everything at our disposal, and we will use that to our advantage. I'm Kevin Walsh. Tune into Game Time Decisions from 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern on Sports Grid. Carlos Alcaraz has won the last two Grand Slam titles at the French Open on the clay and at Wimbledon earlier this summer. He enters as the favorite. You have a bunch of, of depth there. Francis Tiafo, Ben Shelton. They will likely play in round three. The winner would play Djokovic most likely, which would be an incredible match. I like Ben Shelton as a sleeper. If Djokovic is hurt, you never know. I think Shelton's actually the guy that gets hot. The conditions favor him. The early line, only on Sports Grid. The sharpest football contest show in the land. The Las Vegas Football Contest Show focuses on Circus Sports Million, Circus Survivor, and the Westgate Super Contest. Handicapping the games and releasing our contest picks every week of the season. With two former Super Contest winners, Brady Cannon and James Salinas, a former NFL player, Mike Pritchard, and over $1 million in contest prize money won combined, the Las Vegas Football Contest Show will have you prepared this season like none other. 